What's up guys, Masa Pros here from Trinor Studios, checking out the latest features of OBS. Thought you might want to take a look at it to go with our uh, M3 Tech Talk uh, podcast that we did just uh, a week ago. So if you're interested in OBS, how it works, you want to know some of the settings, some of the cool little features that are in there that a lot of people don't use, uh, this is probably the video for you. So uh, let's just get started and check it out. All right, so this is the basic look of uh, how OBS is to start. <clears throat> Not a lot going on there, but you add your start screens, your in-game, anything to your scenes, and then you add sources to that, which is anything you want to have on that specific screen. Uh, for people that use things like a stream deck, they can actually set up which scenes they go to, which is how I usually use mine. And then there's certain sources. You can turn them on and off uh, with the click of a button to make sure that they uh, show up when you want them to show up, which is pretty cool. Uh, to not dive in too far, basically you just do the added setups. You add your microphone here. This is where you add your webcam. This is where you add, you know, when anything you want to show up on screen, your overlays, your alerts, all of that are added separately. So when you hit the plus, there's a pile of different options for you to add what you want to add from game capture, display captures, audio captures, media sources, text, if you want lots of options. Uh, to jump right in there, the other thing actually while we're here, the audio section here is absolutely important and allows you to adjust your levels to make sure everything lines up where you want it to line up. Uh, over here is where you put your transitions. If you have transitions from scene to scene, like, you know, my fancy Monster Pros logos, things like that on my stream, uh, definitely that's where I put that in there. On top of that, if we go into settings, general settings is just how you want the thing to look. Uh, most of that is standard stuff, but it's there to connect your account. You choose which service you're going to use. For me, I'm a Twitch user. For other people, they might be Mixer or Facebook. People stream there. Output is your bitrate. This will have everything that has to do with, you know, what uh, how you want to use it. Software or you know, hardware or whatever you happen to have. I don't want to get too deep into this because this is a whole other conversation in itself. Uh, but you set up your streaming bit rates and everything and then you can move on you can set up your recording as well right now i'm recording at a bit rate of about thirty thousand or so so it's uh really dependent on how you want your quality to look uh from there you can set up your audio settings uh nothing too exciting there this is how you're outputting right now i'm outputting 1080 but i'm actually scaling the resolution to be about 864p on my stream um i also choose 60 this is not exactly my version uh, so it's, it's not exactly the same, but then you can choose which renderers you want. There's a lot of information in here that you can grab. Again, I'm not going to go through all of this. It's another conversation for another day, but there's lots of information in here. Uh, moving on to some of the tools you can use, which is really exciting. Um, actually not even tools, but let's go to the, uh, the stats page. Um, if you're ever wondering how your stream's doing or how it's going, uh, you actually can go to the stats page, which will tell you how your CPU is doing, what frame rate you're currently running at. Uh, but the important ones are things missing due to rendering lag or frame skipped due to encoding lag. That'll tell you that maybe you have a problem on your computer side, whereas down here it'll show the output to the stream. And if there's any uh, drop frames there, then you might realize maybe your bitrate or something on your upload might be too low to actually produce the stream results that you're looking for. So it's will be a constant back and forth, but this is a page that allows you to just see what's going on. So you can say, okay, hey, this might be my video card instead of, hey, this might be, you know, because my internet sucks. Uh, so there's lots of options there and lots of things to check out. So definitely use that to your advantage. Um, outside of that, some of the other tools that they have is things like filters. If you want to, you know, adjust your audios at noise gates, things like that, or some suppression, you got a lot of background noise, or maybe you're not loud enough and you need to add a little bit extra gain. This is where you would do that. And they have their, some basic options right off the gate. I know some people go a lot more advanced than this, but for most people, this actually works pretty well. Um, I don't use it myself, but I mean, realistically they're there for you. Same thing goes with video. If you had a video cam, I don't think I have one on this PC, but if I add like a know, display capture, <clears throat> there we go. Let's watch that bounce. Um, you can also do the filters there as well. And they have video for like color correction, chroma key. If you have a green screen, uh, cropping the sides of the image, which I do because my green screen doesn't go far enough across, uh, lots of different options, render delay, if your audio and your video don't line up. So there's lots of simple options that allow you to do what you need to do there. Uh, but that is the basic outline of what, uh, OBS will do for you. Uh, if there's anything else you need to know, feel free to toss some uh, comments in there and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. The other one that's exciting, we'll probably get into a little later, but uh, we're going to talk, we'll, we will do a deep dive into the video settings. Uh, we'll deep dive into differences between NVENC and the CPU processing. Again, check out our podcast, um, M3 Tech Talk, uh, over at trinorstudios.com. Thanks for stopping by and have yourselves a great day. Peace.